to kickstart the Indo-US quantum coordination mechanism, we have signed an MEO, MOU on semi semiconductors. The initiative on public-private partnership on telecommunication engaging stakeholders from the government, industry, and academia to further an open collaboration in open uh, uh, further collaboration in open RAN, that is a rapid action, a rapid access uh, system, and 5G and 6G. The detailed dialogue on biotechnology is being held. Important exchanges on cooperation and artificial intelligence have taken place, and positive in the momentum under the defense and space pillars. I do hope and I'm very optimist that in the near future, under each one of these heads, you will be hearing more specific, more tangible results that have been achieved and how we have been able to move forward. Most importantly, we have established a strategic trade dialogue. It will serve as a platform to address regulatory barriers and issues relating to export control. It is a very important element in this entire matter. To ensure the free flow of water, it is important that it has got a canal, it has got a route by which it can flow, but it is also important that the barriers in the flow of water are also removed. Sometimes there is a flow, there is a natural gradient, there is a plenty of water, but then there are artificial barriers which are able to impede its forward this things. We do hope, and the, both the governments are committed, that we will try our best to see how simple, how easy we can make it for our industry, for our investors, for our entrepreneurs to see that they can move ahead. These initiatives are pointers to what we can achieve together for the good of our people, our region and world at large. They are clear where we are, we are also clear where we want to be. And we are also confident that we have got the cooperation of all of you. I am particularly grateful to NSA Jack Sullivan, who has contributed tremendously to that. It was his idea that is, let, it, let it not only be the government, bring the private sector in a big way. And Jake, what a great idea it was. And thank you very much for that. We highly appreciate your initiative. He has invested tremendous efforts and tremendous ideas and the thoughts and really bringing it to this position. The potential of our complementaries and cooperations are immense. Today's dialogue, second in the, in it, in the series, is important. We have had some discussions, but we are going to hold more detailed discussions on this subject tomorrow. We are quite optimistic that we will be able to move forward, but we will welcome you, any ideas, any suggestions from you. We cannot move ahead unless we make it more practical and doable. And that comes only when you are part of this entire en endeavor. Ideas will have to flow from all of you. I've seen some of your recommendations. They are very important. They will help us in mapping out and in chartering the future course of action. Innovation and enterprise and spirit of partnership has to be part of your philosophy as well. If you are looking at this thing, it will involve certain amount of innovation, entrepreneurship, risk-taking, thinking big, and going for big ideas. It is good to dream big ideas, but it requires the people of sinews and the guts like you who can make those ideas real. To conclude, I see the future of ISET very bright. So what is going to be one of the very important pillars of our bilateral strategic partnership, and I wish all the success to all of you. And thank you very much once again to Mr. Chandrajit Banerjee and to the Confederation of Indian Industry for organizing this wonderful evening. And I would again like to thank our uh, guest today, uh, uh, the National Security Advisor, Jack Sullivan, for his great contribution in making this uh, venture in making this initiative where it stands today. And thank you very much. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.